London rescuers scrambled on Monday to reach two boats in distress in the Mediterranean even as the search continued for survivors of what it is feared will be one of the worst disasters involving migrants attempting the perilous crossing to Europe from Africa. Officials estimate that 700 people may have drowned after a ship carrying hundreds of migrants sank in the Mediterranean Sea on Saturday night, though that number could rise sharply. Bodies were seen floating in the water and rescuers said that some remained trapped inside the vessel. Only 24 bodies had been recovered by Sunday evening. More than 17 vessels were searching for survivors, led by the Italian Coast Guard and including several merchant ships. The ship began to sink on Saturday night about 70 miles off the coast of Libya and around 120 miles from Lampedusa, an Italian island between Malta and Tunisia. Continue reading the main story. Belated coverage. A video still shows an Italian Coast Guard vessel during a search and rescue operation in the Mediterranean Sea on Sunday. Hundreds of migrants are feared dead as ship capsizes off the Libyan coast April 19, 2015. Syrian refugee children in Istanbul. Nearly 4 million refugees have poured into Turkey and other countries bordering Syria. U.N. Calls on Western nations to shelter Syrian refugees April 17, 2015. Migrants in Sarziz, Tunisia, on Monday after their boat overturned en route to Italy from Libya. The number of migrants taking to the sea is already near last year's record level. Influx of migrants across Mediterranean years record levels April 13, 2015. Bulgaria puts up a new wall, but this one keeps people out April 5, 2015. Carlotta Sami, a spokeswoman for the United Nations Refugee Agency, was quoted by Agence France Press as saying that the disaster could turn out to be the worst massacre ever seen in the Mediterranean.